$2,270.50. Yep, to accept from Broome County. This will allow us to pay for demolition screenings at uh, the last round of properties so we did a demolition. So this is essentially grant money from Broome County. Questions or comments on this? Good. Thank you, Bob. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> Just to make sure. It One nine days of twenty five, please, Jerry. All right. Um, as you recall, the city was an awardee for the city's rise program through the New York City Attorney General's office. We received eighty thousand dollars in total and funded.
I will add, exactly. but myself exactly. personally, exactly. I have very exactly. big reservations I'm not, I'm not about, about privatization in and of itself. But we would be we would be very very wrong to not look at all options. Well, it doesn't mean it's We're talking about the management. We're not selling the building. No, we're not selling. Yeah, the no, yeah. yeah. So I mean, we still have control of everything. All yeah. we're at is sure. Is the most getting somebody that run. knows how to run yeah. a plant. Yeah. yeah, that's what. That's what. Yeah, that yeah, was no, brought I mean, up at I, that meeting. I, I agree. Plan. I agree with looking at all our options. I mean, I, I right. said that last year when we were discussing. Well, we just have to see what comes in. But, but, but I mean, we have to be making sure, I mean, from what I, and again, you know, I, I haven't been briefed, right? But from what I'm, from what I'm looking at, it doesn't look like we'd be saving money. So it isn't about saving taxpayers money. If it's, if, I mean, are we, it, it, it may be a technical, it might be you know, if it, if it's technical, well, then are we gonna, I mean, are, it's, are the current people that are working at this plant from, I mean, I was on the sewage, I was the ex officio to sewage board from all, my impression of the entire ordeal was not, was that they weren't the problem. I mean, the people that are working at the sewer, joint sewage treatment plant, you know, they do, they do quite a good job with the situation that they've been dealt. And now, you know, they're being trained on, on the new, on the new right. things and, and the new software and the new equipment and that's all good. So are we going to, you know, hire professionals? that are going to get rid of the people that work there, which I see a certain problem with, but then if that's not going to happen, then it's just gonna be the same people that are working there, but we're gonna pay someone more than we would be paying them if they were just our employees, because, you know. It might be quality. I see what they're saying. saying. I mean, would, they, would they move some people out, possibly? Would they keep both of them? Probably. I don't even know that. I don't yeah, know. I mean, when the they, when they, they, when they discussed that, they, no. said, they said they would, I mean, when it was discussed at the, uh, in Johnson City that we need somebody in there that actually knows how to run this plant. And from what I understood, there were only three people in this country that know how to run this plant. Mm -hmm. And they would hire people back from the city to uh, teach them how to run this plant properly. That's the way I think they're story. training people as, yeah. as we speak. Right. Right. Uh, right. They're training people as they speak. Right. That needs to happen. But are they go right? It ha absolutely, it has to happen. I mean, this is a plant like the attorney said that's five stories down. That it should be built on a fifty-acre lot, which we got fifty acres lots built on ten acres. Well, sure. Yep. Yep. You know, the, the only thing I would strongly encourage. I mean, obviously these are very important issues, but yes. let, let, let's keep in mind. Until we actually have data yeah. in our hands, Don't make a lot of this is, it may cost a lot more, it may be less expensive. Yeah, I, I, I don't know which one it is. That's my entire point. Yeah, no, and it's, That's a, it's, my entire it's, point. it's, it's a valid one. Yeah. I, I'm just saying until we actually have answers to say we know what direction it is, we're kind of just shooting totally. things into but the we, air. But we won't have answers on on cost until the plant goes operational. The pre-qualification meeting on Monday, uh, some of the prospective bidders were asking questions about what it costs to run this facility, you know, what it what it looks like in terms of staffing. And the owners of the plant, their response was, we don't know because this plant that you're gonna be managing doesn't exist yet. And we haven't turned, we haven't flipped the switch on it. We don't know how much it's water it uses. We don't know how much electricity it uses. So we're going to get numbers back. We're going to get data back from bidders, but we don't know what we even own right now. So how are we going to assess the the veracity, the value of those bids? How are we going to be able to tell whether By they're the blowing smoke? We're, we're just no, but that, that actually is a good point, though, because you know we're going to be looking at bids and 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 we're going to be getting numbers for how much we're going to pay someone to operate this plant that could be wildly above what it actually costs because we don't actually know how much it costs to our own admission. Right, but uh, w with all due respect though, that's a normative function of a process like this. Mm -hmm. it, it's either the same throughout or it's not. So if, if we have no data in terms of, say for example, labor costs mm -hmm. in year one, that's normative across all bids, right? So it, it's gonna be covered either way. It's, 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 arguably, it's arguably a moot point in the sense that the, the ability to assess or not assess prospective bigs that come in, it's a consistent issue across the board. It will be dealt with in some way, shape, or form, but again, we're, we're, we're speaking about things to the point that we've got no information about anything 
whatsoever. Let's get what we need. There most assuredly will be some gaps that can be filled in, and we can look at it at that point. But at least if we have something, we're speaking more intelligently than in the collective than we are now. That's the only thing I'm saying. We're literally shooting off the cuff here. We have nothing. There's no data in front I mean, there's no nothing about anything. They're all very legitimate issues, and, and I will put this out there. So that I have my own very big reservations about the privatization aspects of it, which I have a lot of questions for. But I am not going to shoot off things until I can get something in front of me and then say, this is what I have, and we still need this. Okay. And we would be doing, I think, a better job if we waited until we got that. Same thing like with the fire department, and then we move amicably and incrementally forward from there. I agree with that, and the, and the, the the reason why you know I think it was good that you brought this up, Councilman Livingston, is because I agree with what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, because no. I I read in the in the press and sun that the city of Bandon has come to a decision, and that did raise a red flag. That's what it says. Well. They they write a lot of stuff. There. I'm surprised still read that. It hasn't happened. <laughs> okay. So then retract the article. I mean, it, it, it's a little nervous. They really should. No, I get it. Mr. President, may I Yes, go ahead. Thank you. Uh, at the county, we uh, passed a letter last uh, session. We passed a resolution looking forward to putting out uh, bids and requests for proposals to run the airport. We're doing the exact same thing. We are taking the chance to see what is out there that might be able to bring us a better management. Yeah. at the airport. None of us on the board, none of us on the legislature are saying that we are moving forward with this notion. Correct. But we would be remiss if we did not look at all aspects and see how right. better exactly. the airport. Yes. Absolutely. Which is a major piece of our infrastructure. As your, right. your, your sewage treatment plant is a major piece of your infrastructure. Yep. Which is a major piece of our sure. 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 Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Bob. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Absolutely. Any, any other questions, comments? Yes, yeah, not on this, but on um, um, there has been a spike in kids getting into trouble. I had four kids in my district, a uh, senior veteran and his daughter. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's time that we try to see what we can do for our kids. Um, one thing I can think of is a curfew. We used to have one. I don't know why we don't have one for our kids anymore. It's already known that kids get into trouble after a certain amount of time. Their brains aren't formed until they're Danny, Danny with, with the changes in the new laws coming up with these criminal justice reforms that they passed in New York, 16 and 17 year olds are not even going to be able to be held accountable for anything. Well, they're not being held accountable now, which is why they just beat up a 71 year old man and his 50 year old daughter. I, I, did they catch up with Danny? Yes, they did. One of them, yeah. Chances of, the of, of any kind of persecution, though, oh, is low. Yeah. Of course, because you know, they're minors. Yes, but the thing is, we're not doing those kids any justice. We're not helping them by letting them get away. Then we're just setting them on a path to keep getting away with stuff until they're old enough to go to jail because they're not going to learn to get off the path of destruction that they're on. You have to have, you, you're absolutely right. The, the roadblocks you run into with curfews is that you can, sometimes you can't find the parents. The uh, police can't hold them because they have to have separate facilities for, uh, for minors. minors. You know, and males and females. You have to hire more police. Yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's, but you're absolutely right. We always make excuses why we can't do it rather than trying to find out well, how let's see what can we do.